welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these really cute birdhouse decor pieces using some items from the Dollar Tree, some items from Dollar General, and the little yellow bird there, it came from Joann's. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make them. Alrighty y'all, let us get started. So first off, what you're going to need, one of these little candle dishes. This one came from the Dollar Tree. This one is 5.98 inch, just about six inches in diameter. You're also going to need three of these Dollar Tree candle holders. You're going to need two of these little birdhouse doohickeys. And I got these at Dollar General. They were $3, right there, $3. And if you pay attention to the bottoms of them, there's they're several different shapes. I also have a yellow one. Um, actually, I think I left it in the living room. But anyway, I'm gonna be making two different versions of this craft, a shorter one and then a taller, sort of bigger one. For the shorter one, I'm gonna be using this one here that has the more narrow base. For the taller, larger one, I'm gonna be using this one that's more square shaped, rectangle shape, I guess you could say, I don't know. Um, with the wider base here. You're all going to blah, that English, what is it? You're also going to need a hot glue gun and glue sticks. You're going to need some E6000. And I'm trying out this new E6000 Plus that is low odor. So I'm going to be trying that out in this video because I've never used the low odor kind before. You're also going to need some spray paint. The Ultimate High Gloss is what I'm using. And the color white from Rust-Oleum. That's what I'm going to be using. So anyway, what we're going to do is, oh lordy, we're going to cut these tags off. And I thought I had I thought I'd cut them off, or at least pulled them loose, and I didn't when I went to pick them up a while ago. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just deal with it later. So anyway, first off, what we're going to do is take our candle holders, and we're going to glue two of them together before we paint them, okay? For this one, I'm not going to do anything to it until... I get to the painting part so we're just going to set that over there so for these we're going to be gluing them together small ends together like that and then gluing this on top so what i have going here over here going here over here amber goodness me <laughs> is i'm going to put my e6000 on here first in just a couple little places sort of like the little points you can see the little the little points here just put them on the little points like that and then let's put the lid back on you know what that doesn't have an odor i don't smell anything i don't smell anything huh all righty then but anyway now i'm just going to put some dots of hot glue in between those now what the hot glue is going to do is hold everything in place sort of like immediately so that if you bump it with your E6000 on there, it's, it's not all gonna fall apart, okay? Just press that down like that. And then what we're gonna do is, well, let's take the label off of it, because you know how the label police are. <sighs> and then we're gonna do the same thing up top here. All right, so this is, I can tell you right now, this is a little bit runnier than normal E6000. I can tell you that right now. It's not as thick. Definitely not as thick. Oh, see, it's kind of running down the side. Right there, I need something. Uh, I have a piece of fabric over here. <laughs> I just put the fabric on there. Okay, now we're gonna go back in with the hot glue gun. I said I was, all right. I want to get a good amount of glue on here because the bottom of this candle holder or this little candle dish over here, it's very textured on the bottom. So it's not going to have, you know, a very, a very flush seal, I guess you could say. But anyway, and now we're just going to take that and glue right there on top. That looks, is that centered? Me not know. Eh, that looks okay. It looks okay to me. It's good enough for me. So anyway, I'm going to let that sit there for roughly 24 hours to give the Gorilla Glue time to harden up. And then I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to paint it with this paint here. And then we're going to come back and decorate it. 
Alrighty, so the glue has set up, the paint is dry, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that one and the little birdhouse here and glue this directly onto this. I'm going to use hot glue for this, okay? I'm going to use hot glue. You can use a little bit of the E6000 too if you like. I think this hot glue is going to work very well. This is a Gorilla hot glue, and there... There's stuff. I'm not even going to get into the, <laughs> the Gorilla Glue debacle thing. But um, y'all know they got some good products. So now there is that. And I think here in a little bit, I might take some ribbon and wrap around that. I don't know. We'll see here in a little bit what I decide to do. Now on this one, we're going to glue the house on top of here. Okay. Now some of this glue did kind of ooze out you can see it right there but that's okay i can put some ribbon or something on that and i can cover it up so now i'm just going to take this and i'm going to put hot glue all over its little bottom i'm sorry if i'm burning your your bottom little house it's for the greater good believe me see i'm just putting like a like a literal ton here <laughs> not a literal ton but hey and then we're just going to glue that directly on top of this so that it now looks like that. Okay, now what I wanna do is take some of this floral moss and put right here, just to kind of fill it in a little bit. Now this stuff can, it's flying everywhere. <laughs> this stuff can fly everywhere. So if you want to, what you can do is, and I've done this in a previous video, you can take it and put a little bit of it into a bowl and then use a spray bottle. And just very lightly mist it with some water just enough to help it you know kind of hold you know that fuzzy the fuzziness down oh my goodness the words that i have for things but i'm just putting a little bit of this here i don't want it to completely cover the bottom i'm trying to i'm trying to kind of keep it off the bottom there you don't want moss on your bottom it's itchy <laughs> all right so let's put a little bit more here. And I'm going to do this all the way around the house. This house, not my house. I'm not gluing moss to the bottom of my house. I don't know. If I run out of projects, I might just do that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, if I go outside and act all crazy like that, it might keep the neighbors away from me. <laughs> but anyway, jewelry time. This awesome ring and bracelet. And this is from Paparazzi Jewelry. Oh, Lordy, look what I did. They're only five bucks each. I'm a paparazzi consultant. And if you'll look down in the description box, I will have a link that says paparazzi. You can click on that and it'll take you to my paparazzi site. And then you just click on the button that says shop and you can see all of the awesome stuff that's there to buy. You know, I was a consultant many, many years ago and then recently got back into it because I missed it. And I wear a lot of it. So, you know what? Why not? bring it to you <laughs> anyway let's just move on with this glue and now i'm going to fill up this and all the way around with the moss i'm going to grab a few more decorations that i think will be really cute on here and i'll be right back okay so i tried a few different colors of ribbon on here and you know what i wasn't happy with any of them um i'm trying to not create too much of a contrast between the little bird houses and the stands down here i want to keep the you know like this this solid color going on the bottom here but i wanted to add a little bit of texture so i'm going to use this ribbon just ribbon from simplicity and i'm just going to glue it on the back here And then I'm going to wrap it around. Let's cut a piece. Let's cut a piece. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, Lord Jesus, take the ribbon. Here we go. All right. Put a little bit more there. And now I'm just going to wrap this around. Just let that set up. There we go. All right, see a little bit of texture, um, but it's not really going to detract from, you know, our little birdhouse there. 
So you know, let's set that back up and we're going to set that over there. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this big one using the ribbon and let me see if I could tilt this back here and here is where I'm going to put that lace. Okay. And I know that, oh my goodness, I know y'all can't see this very well. Well, heck, you can't see it at all. <laughs> um, it's just such a bad angle. But yeah, I'm just gluing the uh, the lace. I called it ribbon a while ago. Oh my goodness. Let's lacy ribbon. There, it's lacy ribbon. So that's what we're going to call it. I'm just going to stick that there. And then I want to do it again here on the bottom and then I think I'm going to take some twine and make just a really simple little bow just right around where we glued the two together. I think that's what I want to do there. Because I wanted to put a little extra something something here on this tall one. There we go. Just to kind of spruce it up a little bit more, you know, give it a different sort of look. All right. We'll throw that in a little box there. Oh, I've got that green fuzzy stuff all over the bottom. All right, so let's turn this around, and I'm liking the way that looks. So let's get, oh my goodness, I had a piece of twine down here. Here we are. All right, so I think, okay, so this is what we have so far. Now, where they have attached, where I attached them right here, I'm going to glue this piece of twine around that. And then I think I'm going to tie a bow. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put this right here. Then we will trim the end here just in a second. Okay. Wrap it around. And then we're going to put a little dot of glue. I think y'all can just barely see what I'm doing here. I'm sorry. See, just wrapping it around there. I'll bring it back around to the back here and then trim that off and then I'm going to take another piece here and just tie a bow get up there okay yeah yeah I want a little bitty bow I guess I can use this I do have some thinner twine but we're going to see what this looks like with this thicker twine first That is cute. There we go. And then I'm just going to glue that right there. Like I said, for a little extra something, something. Now I'm going to have to hold this for a few seconds until the glue sets up. And then I'm going to touch a little birdie up here to this one. I don't think I want to put anything on that other one. Okay, that glue has set up. And I found, look what I found. Look what I found. I found this pack of... Um, these bling stickers, and I'm going to be quite honest with you, I'm not 100% sure where this pack came from, but I know I've seen these at Dollar Tree. I know Walmart carries them pretty much any craft store, so you should be able to find them pretty much anywhere. But what I did is, just around the bottom here, I just put a little string of the pearls, and you know what? That just did something for it! It just set it off! <laughs> so I'm also going to do that over here. But now I have this little pack of birdies, bless their hearts, are crammed down in that bag. This is a touch of nature, floral decor. This came from Joann's, okay? Now I know sometimes Dollar Tree carries little birdies. Um, my Dollar Tree's been lacking lately, y'all. I mean, seriously. But um, how cute are these? Oh, bless his heart. There we go. How cute are these little birdies? Now they do come on clips, so come on, bird bird. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, you showing out. You know what? You're going to make me get rough here in a minute. Come on, birdie. What do you think about that? I just broke your little clip. Now you see? Look what you made me do. But they're on clips. <laughs> if you could see this. They're on these little clips. And now I'm just going to pull this clip. Well, that's graphic. I'm just going to pull. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, birdie. <laughs> oh, Amber, shut up. All right, so now what we're going to do, let me try to get this. We're going to take this little birdie, and we're going to glue him right here. I want to see if I could glue him on that little, but you see how like short and stubby that is? It must be my ex. But we're going to take him, and we'll put him right here. So I'm going to put just a little bit of hot glue here 
Oh, I'm sorry. Hot foot, hot foot. Probably gonna put a little bit on his backside there too, because you know he's kind of nestled down in this moss. There we go. Oops. And I don't think I'm gonna put one on this little house over here. I really like the way this looks. I really like that. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now I'm just gonna take these little pearls here and I'm just gonna stick them around the bottom just like I did on the other one. And I think I'm gonna call that done, methinks. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Try to get everything in place you know, before I really press them down because this paint is still a little bit tacky. And it's going to really help to adhere these down. So I wanted to make sure, you know, that I really had them in place. Can y'all believe it was almost 80 degrees here today? My goodness gracious. Yeah, almost 80 degrees. And to me, it's a little humid. Um, so yeah, the paint, I know it's not 100% dry. All right, let's stick that down right there. I'm just going to work my way around his backside. Okay, let's cut that right there. There we are. Now, let's stick this one down. Actually, I don't think that this is going to be long enough for this one. Ah, darn it. I'm going to have to piece it together because I only have like one more strip of this stuff left. But, can you all see? Let's stick it down. See, stay. Do your part and help me out. Hey, you know what? Oh, darn it. Would you look right there? <laughs> I'm like one short. Oh, that's just going to drive me crazy. I can't leave it. You know what? I should have just come over here and got this bigger piece here, but uh, I think I'm a glutton for punishment. Y'all know I get on my own darn nerves. <laughs> but let's try to stick this. Nope, I just dropped it. Now it's stuck to the table. <laughs> okay, that's just not going to want to stick on. So you know what? I'm going to throw you in the darn floor. That's all right. You can't see it anyway. And I might mess with it again later just to try to fix it. But anyway, this is what the shorter one, the smaller one looks like. And now let's take another look at this one. Of course, stick around after the video and... um. I'll have a photo for you. I mean, you've already seen it at the beginning of the video, but I'm going to give you another photo anyway. But I think I'm going to call that done. Yeah, I think that's done, and I'm very happy with it. But anyway, if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye!